Entertech Global presents Geothermal University Online Training and Educational Resources. Hello and welcome to Geothermal University. I'm John Pendleton. Today we are going to learn how to calculate antifreeze requirements in gallons for a closed loop system. Antifreeze levels are crucial in cold climates. We'll demonstrate manual calculations using a simple worksheet. Let's get started. Our first step is to calculate the total gallons of water for the entire system. In our example, we are using high density polyethylene pipe, or as the way it is abbreviated, HDPE. You'll need to have handy a copy of the pipe fluid volume chart in the Geothermal Unit Installation Operation Manual, or IOM. A copy of a typical IOM is attached to this video. In our example, we'll use a three-ton system. We must calculate total gallons for four components in the loop system. They include gallons in the unit's coaxial heat exchanger in piping, gallons in the pump hose kit, 10-foot maximum, gallons in the header pipe, and gallons in the loop circuits. Our first two calculations are very simple. In fact, not really calculations, more like standards. For the geothermal coax heat exchanger, use one gallon. Next, we'll allow for the hose kit. The hose kit should not exceed 10 feet. A 10-foot 10 hose kit contains 4 tenths of a gallon. Next, we'll need to calculate the number of gallons in the header pipes. In our example, our header pipe consists of 200 feet of inch and a quarter HDPE pipe. Using Table 4 in our Flow Center and Loop Application Installation Guide provided with this video, we scroll down to inch and a quarter size dimension ratio 11 or SDR 11 and we find 100 feet contains 7.5 gallons. So our calculations are 200 feet of inch and a quarter pipe, 7.5 gallons per 100 feet, 200 feet divided by 100 equals 2, 2 times 7.5 gallons is equal to 15 gallons. Next we'll need to calculate the number of gallons in all the loop circuits. In our example, our loop circuits consist of 3 quarter inch HDPE pipe and three 400 foot loops. That is 200 down and 200 up. Using the table provided in the IOM, we scroll down to 3 quarter inch SDR 11 and we find 100 feet contains 3 gallons. So our calculations are 3 circuits times 400 feet equals 1200 feet. 1200 divided by 100 equals 12. 12 times 3 gallons equals 36 gallons. Now that we have performed all the gallon to component calculations, we simply need to add up the sum. First, we have one gallon in the unit and coax. Second, we have four tenths of a gallon in the hose kit. Then we have 15 gallons in the header pipe. And last, we have 36 gallons in the loop circuits. So our total is one plus four tenths plus 15 plus 36 equals 52.4 gallons. Our geothermal closed loop system holds 52.4 gallons. If you're going to use a flush purge cart, one last component may need to be added to our calculation. A typical flush cart holds about 8 to 10 gallons. To calculate the correct amount of antifreeze, the gallons in the flush cart must be included in our calculations and treated. So our calculated number of gallons for purging a 52.4 gallons for the loop and system plus our tank on the flush cart. Otherwise, the protection level could be off by as much as 20%. To be precise, we recommend measuring the volume of the tank on your purge cart. So how much antifreeze do we need? Vertical loops require 30% propylene glycol for 15 degree freeze protection. In our example, we have a total system volume of 52.4 gallons and a flush cart volume of 10 gallons. We added 52.4 system gallons plus 10 flush tank gallons to get a total of 62.4 gallons. We take our total gallons times 30% to get 18.72 gallons of propylene glycol. Important, this calculation assumes you're using 100% non-diluted propylene glycol. Some antifreeze solutions are already mixed at 50-50. For other antifreeze requirements by volume, see Table 3, page 18, in our Flow Center and Loop Application Installation Guide provided with this video. 
Some parts of the country do not use antifreeze. In areas where minimum entering loop temperatures drop below 40 degrees or where piping will be routed through areas subject to freezing, antifreeze is required. Loop fluid should be antifreeze protected to 15 degrees with an approved fluid type, typically methanol, ethanol, or propylene glycol. Test with the proper hydrometer. Local and state codes supersede any instructions in this video or our installation guides. Caution. Use extreme care when opening, pouring, and mixing flammable antifreeze solutions. Remote flames or electrical sparks can ignite undiluted antifreezes and vapors. Use only in a well-ventilated area. Do not smoke when handling flammable solutions. Failure to observe safety precautions may result in fire, injury, or death. Never work with 100% alcohol solutions. The investment in a geothermal system is significant. It is important to protect your investment by mixing and maintaining an adequate level of antifreeze. In an upcoming video, we will show you how to test antifreeze for proper freeze protection. If you have any questions about this video, please call our technical support group. Thank you for watching Geothermal University. For more information on GeoComfort, Hydron Module, and Tetco Geothermal Systems, call 618-664-9010 or visit www.entertechgeo.com. For additional training resources, go to geothermaluniversity.com.